Hello and welcome to a Block Spotlight with me, the most happy one, aka Mr. Sart. In today's episode, we will be looking at the steam boiler. So, actually, two different types of steam boiler that we have right here. And the steam boiler is a railcraft device, and it is quite a unique device, quite a complicated device too. So, this may be a pretty long Block Spotlight, at least compared to some of my other ones. Now it's unique in that the device, well, like a lot of uh, railcraft devices, it's made up of several blocks put together. Here you can see there's two blocks here or two blocks here. What makes it unique is they are different blocks. You do have to make different types of blocks. In this case here, it's a solid fuel firebox and a high pressure boiler. And this one here is a liquid fuel box, uh, fueled firebox I should say, and a low pressure boiler. It can also be made in quite a variety of sizes, six all up. So we'll have a look at the recipe now before we get into any more of this. The recipe, you start off with the firebox. This is the solid fueled firebox, which is brick around the outsides, all by the bottom middle one, which is a furnace and then a fire charge. The fire charge is a piece of coal, gunpowder and blaze powder. That gets you three fire charge. The furnace is vanilla Minecraft just your cobblestone around the outsides leaving the middle one the middle spot empty and for your bricks is clay in a furnace so that there is your solid fueled firebox now the solid fuel firebox can take just about any normal furnace fuels for example your charcoal or being railcraft of course coal coke there is also pointed oh, pointed out that there is also a um, liquid fueled firebox. That's this one here. A little bit more complicated, I guess, to build. You need furnace down the bottom still and the fire charge. You also need iron bars in the side middle spots a bucket in the top middle spot and then the outside corners is steel plates. Now the steel plates are in the rolling machine or well, you need the rolling machine which is steel in all nine spots. Steel is made in the blast furnace and the blast furnace needs coal coke so the liquid fueled firebox is not something you'll be making straight up the uh, solid fueled firebox by comparison is something that you can make relatively early on. You also have a bucket which is vanilla in this case I've just used iron but quite a few different metals, tin for example can be used and then your iron bars is iron in six spots and that'll give you your liquid fueled firebox. The liquid fueled firebox can use um, a number of fuels. You can use creosote oil, uh, biofuel or even just your ordinary fuel which I have a bucket of right here. One fuel, one liquid fuel it cannot take though, it cannot use is lava unless that's changed but the last time I looked lava could not be used. Okay, so we'll have a look at the, f the. I think I'll use the solid just for the examples of how to build it. I'll use the solid firebox. And basically, the firebox does go down first. It's as simple as placing it down. This won't do anything at the moment. You click on it, nothing will happen. You can use it as a normal block, I guess. It's not built yet. You need to add your tanks to it. What I will do first is show you that's a single which we have over there. There's 
three different sizes for the steam boiler and it's all dependent on your firebox you can then put four together to get a two by two and the next one the largest is your three by three the two by two is generally considered to be the workhorse but we need the tank as well now the tanks themselves also come in two different varieties which I think we've already pointed out you've got the high pressure boiler which is steel plates, two steel plates it is a shaped recipe, you can't put them anywhere, it has to be on t one on top of the other that'll give you a high pressure boiler so the high pressure needs steel plates in the rolling machine uh, steel obviously not being something you can make early game however the low pressure boiler two iron plates on top of each other, they're still in the rolling machine but it's just iron ingots, nine iron ingots, that'll get you an iron plate I don't have this hooked up to power so I can't actually click and take them but that there will give you your um, low pressure boiler now the first variety of the low pressure boiler, that's your standard tank the high pressure boiler produces twice the steam but uses more fuel the low pressure boiler which is this one here, which I'm holding low pressure boiler, that produces 10 steam per tick per tank so that is one tank that I've just put down obviously if I put four down, that's four tanks 10 steam per tick, so you've got 40 steam right there uh, they're not, that's not how you put them down though obviously you need the firebox first, we'll get into that in a minute the high pressure tanks, it's these ones here which the only difference is the colour. You can just see the high pressure is slightly darker. The uh, high pressure produces 20 steam per tick. Um, just using, looking at engines, the there's three railcraft steam engines, and your standard. Let's start that again. 10 steam per tick will run a railcraft engine at 2 minecraft joules per tick. So that's that's basically your hobbyist engine. Hobbyist engine has its own boiler inside, but if you have an outside source, so 10 steam per tick coming from a single tank, you will run it at 2 micron joules or minecraft joules per tick. Um, 20 steam per tick that will run a engine a railcraft steam engine at 4 minecraft joules per tick so yeah the size of the tank does depend on the size of the firebox and vice versa uh, one box can only have one boiler on top that there is now a boiler you can right click on it to open it up that's your smallest, most basic uh, boiler that you can have. But there are six different sizes. Let's place down a few more fireboxes. The next one, your 2x2. Two two. Now the 2x2 two two comes in two different sizes. If you put eight, you'll see that they connect together to form one device. That there's probably your standard tank. A uh, 2x2 two two firebox will also work on 12 tanks. Remembering I'm using the low pressure tank at the moment and each low pressure tank will produce 10 steam per tick. So that there is more steam per tick than can actually run out of a single uh, gold uh, liquid transport pipe. So you can actually have a couple pipes coming out of that one. But anyway, there is also your 3x3 three three firebox. You'll notice when I put that down, these here split up. Your 3x3 three three firebox. Knock the tops off there. The smaller size that that one comes in, that's that one there. Notice they've all connected together. That's 18, I believe. 
also comes in 27 and then the largest of the lot is a 36 tank steam boiler so quite a large boiler this one now we'll look at the interface next that's that's how you build the thing look at the interface next both are just marginally different the liquid to the um, solid fuel so we'll look at the solid fuel first it's the easier one to make and probably the one that most people will use looks quite complicated it's quite simple once you see it running now this is what it looks like when it's not operating this is what one looks like when it is operating you'll notice that a 2 by 2 where it the interface is exactly the same obviously this one does have coal in it though over here your first bar this is the steam this is the tank the storage of steam and you can see it holds 256,000 units next to that is the temperature the heat now you won't start producing steam until the temperature gets to 100 degrees Celsius which is boiling point for water of course the hotter this gets uh, the hotter it gets the faster it works and the less fuel it uses you've then got the input slot which is this one here this here is what's being used currently you can see flames going down there it is actually being used this here is kind of a I guess a backup storage backup input when it uses one coal here it'll feed from over here so you can have up to four stacks in the steam boiler the solid steam boiler you then need water without water this thing the steam boiler becomes very dangerous holding up to 32,000 units of water in this one here I have quite a messy <laughs> network at the back here but I have it actually pumping in using um, gold uh, liquid transport pipes straight into the back there you see right into the back there you can bucket liquid into your boilers now the liquid one much the same biggest difference is right here you have a tank instead of the four spots for the coal the tank is for your fuel holding 16,000 units everything else here is exactly the same so you have your water which you need to keep to produce the steam you have your steam tank over here you have your temperature this one's already at 20 C and if you want to put use buckets to fill up the water so that's the interface so let's let's have a look at how they work now larger boilers are more efficient in terms of fuel usage generally you're better off having one large boiler that instead of having several small ones because of this and like I already said when they are when they do first heat up the steam boilers use more fuel they actually use eight times more fuel than when they're at maximum heat well, this one here is just about reached maximum heat a little bit more to go and because of that it's generally considered best to keep your boiler running don't let it cool down it will use and this used quite a lot of coal to get to this point here so yeah better to keep the thing running now we've already explained that it does need coal and a constant source of water that's supplied to the firebox if the water dries up the boiler needs to cool okay so if you run out of water in here this here needs to cool all the way back down this is but it's quite a stable device the steam boiler unless you run out of water if you add cold water into the tank here when there's still when this here is still warm when it's still hot well when you had something 
add something cold to something hot, you can get uh, you can get a pretty decent explosion. These things will blow up. So relatively simple. Make sure you've got for the solid firebox coal in there. And up here I have a liquid one. No, I don't. Where's my liquid one? Oh, I haven't got it cooked up. It's right next door. So let's just flick that switch. And you can see fuel going in. This here is going in to the firebox. And you can see it is building up. We can also just click, right click, to put the fuel in there. And you can see that has started working. I have water also going through here into the firebox. 48,000 units. Steam, the heat first of all, has to get up to 100 C in order for it to work. Now that's another thing, you'll notice that the water in the solid, in this one here, is 32,000 units. This one here is 48,000 units. They're not the same height as well. 72,000 for this 3x3 three by, three by 18. 108,000 units of water for the 3x3 three by, three by how high was that one? 27 and the 36 that holds 144,000 water. Steam is also increased, the steam that it can hold, but the amount of fuel that it can hold does not increase. It's always 16 for the 16,000 for the liquid and four slots for the solid. So yeah, it's only at 49C, so we won't see any steam being produced just yet. This one here does have a full thing of steam. To get the steam out of there, well I should first of all say to get the coal, we've seen to get the liquid fuel into here, you can use the build craft pipes. Coal you can just place in yourself of course. But being railcraft, you can also use item loaders, unloaders, which is what I'm doing here. This cart is taking coal, taking it out of the chest here, and is putting it straight into here. So you, it's only at uh, 299 degrees this one. So you can, you can also, if you want to be a little bit fancy, use track. But to get the steam out, we use this here, your waterproof pipe. I would suggest using golden because the golden pipes, golden pipes can carry up to 40, 40 uh, steam per tick. Your stone or cobblestone, they hold up to 10 liquid per tick per pipe. So yeah, gold is recommended. You don't want to lose your steam. You do not need a wooden pipe to pump it out. It will, you'll note, it's coming straight out of the pipe. No wooden pipe. Now, you can obviously pump this out all the way to your engines. This here is a commercial steam engine which produces four Minecraft joules per tick. And it is powering my powered furnace here. And it's already smelted all those. Let's get rid of those and what can we grab here? Silver ore. We'll grab some silver. Single piece of silver. But, yep, very quick. So that's your steam engine, commercial steam engine, going through the pipes, the steam going through the pipes to your engine. 
you can the alternative to this is to put the device steam engine directly on the boiler I personally prefer it this way just because I like to have my steam engines well in different areas I guess all over the place with me but uh, the steam engines should work where yeah, we got one right here they should work oh well <laughs> I don't have a wrench but they should work directly connected to the uh, boiler so that's a look at the boiler from Railcraft Relati once you get into it it's it's not too difficult to set them up um, first go I would probably suggest going solid you don't have to use coal you can use like mentioned you can use quite a few different fuel sources including charcoal so you can have a a tree farm set up producing charcoal pumping if you've got forestry hooked up and then have that going straight into your steam boiler so yeah there is it is very useful very easy to run a little bit daunting at first I quite like them actually uh, yeah but hopefully you liked this block spotlight got something out of it if you did like subscribe and at the very least leave a comment positive or negative and I will see you in the next spotlight bye bye